Hi, welcome to the video. My name's Chris Story, and I'm here today to tell you how to wear a ski boot like a pro. So before we get into the ins and outs of putting the ski boot on, there's a very important tip I need to give you, and that's to do with socks. You only need to wear one pair of socks when you're wearing a ski boot. If you double up on your socks, what's likely to happen is you'll end up with blisters and you'll end up restricting the circulation to your toes and you will end up with very painful and or very numb and very cold feet. So do yourself a favour, buy a decent pair of ski socks and just wear one pair with your ski boots. So, ski boots. This is my Lang ski boot. Uh, I'm not sponsored by either Dynastar or Lang, but I have to say I do think these are the best ski boots and best skis you'll get on the market. I'll leave uh, some links to their um, gear in the description below. Um, one really important tip with your ski boot is please keep your ski boot warm. So when you're not wearing it, if you're in resorts, for example, don't leave your ski boots outside. Okay, don't leave them in the cold car because you're going to have um, a lot of trouble getting your boot on when the ski boot is really cold. The, um, the plastic shell just goes really, really hard. So keep them inside with you. You don't need to put them on a radiator. If you've got boot warmers, brilliant, stick them in the boot warmers. If not, just keep them inside, keep them warm. They'll be a lot easier to put on when you get up in the morning and you're ready to go out skiing. Okay, so first things first, we need to undo the boot. Okay, if you have a power strap like this on your boot, then let's get that undone. And then you want to undo each of your clips one by one. Sometimes these clips will want to reattach themselves, so just lift them off, move them down to the side, keep them out of the way completely. Once all your clips are undone, you're then gonna wanna just give the liner a quick pull forward this creates a nice space for you to start to get your foot into the boot. Okay, so with your boot on the floor, it's now time to put your foot in there. So we're gonna grab the liner again. We're still gonna pull this forward. You're gonna tip your toes in, and as you push your foot down into your boot, pull up and sideways on your liner, and your foot should slide in nice and easily. The next thing you want to do is make sure your heel is as far back in the boot as you can go. And you do this by giving your heel a couple of taps on the ground. With your heel now in place, give your toes a wiggle. You should be able to move your toes freely at the front of your boot. If you can't, your boot's too tight for you. And next thing we're going to want to do is to start to buckle up the boot itself. So we start with an easy push down. I just like to use one thumb. And we work I choose to work from bottom to top. Some people will do it the other way around. Okay, you don't want to over tighten your boot because again, you'll end up um, restricting the circulation into your feet. And you want to leave some space for the air in the boot to warm up to keep your feet warm. So um, you should never struggle to fasten a ski boot. You see some people really struggle with the boots, you know, pushing literally ratchet your boots up till you're comfortable one finger and keep working round if you can shut the buckle with one finger good to go so with your foot now firmly in your ski boot and the ski boot fastened up you want to do the two finger test so two fingers come sa like this and we just make sure we can fit that down the front of the boot that tells me that the boots um, fitting nice and snugly around uh, your calf muscle and, the, and your lower leg, but not too tight. And finally, give your boot a flex. Okay, so with your foot now in your boot, you've done all the uh, steps you need to, you can have a great day on the slope skiing. There is one caveat I need to put on all of this, is that as you start to ski, and your boot shell starts to warm up, you will probably need to readjust your buckles throughout the day as you go on. Um, so just keep checking if it feels too loose, ratchet the buckles up a little bit and just make sure you can still shut them with one finger or two fingers without much force. And likewise, if they start to feel too tight again, then you may want to think about readjusting your buckles. So I hope you've enjoyed the few tips here today about how to put on a ski boot like a pro. 
please leave any comments uh, in the comments section obviously um, and like and subscribe to this uh, this channel there will be more videos coming out about buying ski boots and also buying skis as well with some good uh, tips to make sure you get the correct gear for your level um, of skiing ability okay thanks for watching it's been fun and see you next time bye bye